So Michael, my final question for you is in terms of personal branding, it's a hot topic again. It's very important because a recruiter, let's say, checks their resume. They like it. They will go to LinkedIn automatically to know more about this person. Now, I always tell my students that during your time at university, create content, identify your values and talk about those things. And there are so many things that you can do. But still, for some people, they don't know their personal brand. They don't know their values and kind of back to the circle, the why. What's why this is important? Why personal branding is important for job seekers? I, I think it's incredibly important. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm older in my day, you just had to have a resume and that was it. There yeah. was nothing complicated about it. Now, you know, people are checking your LinkedIn, they're checking your social media channels, they're, you know, they're doing their research before they ever meet you. Yeah. And that can be a positive or a negative. Mm-hmm. I remember one time I interviewed a guy, nice guy. I thought he was going to do well in the role. And then I pulled up his Twitter account and he had put his Twitter account on his resume. And he said some really offensive things about women. And immediately he was out of the running. There was just no consideration. Yeah. Um, and so um, I, I think it's really important for people to understand that it's not just about your resume, it's about the bigger picture. Yeah. It's about making sure that what's on your resume aligns with what's in your LinkedIn profile. Yeah. So make sure you're not telling a fib on one and not on the other. Um, uh, you know, what skills do you have? Mm-hmm. Making sure that they're on your LinkedIn profile. What testimonials can get people you've worked with to give you testimonials? Yeah. Absolutely. Make sure that you are including all of those um, because that's the other thing that will sell you. What's happening a lot right now is recruiters are actively looking for people. So instead of just posting a job and waiting to see who applies, they are actively going out and seeking out applicants through LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So your LinkedIn profile becomes incredibly important in a job seeking process. And it should speak to who you are. What are the skills that you offer? What makes you special? Yes. You don't need to have your own logo. That's not what this is about. Mm-hmm. Um, but do you have a nice, clear picture of yourself? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's important to make sure because people are going to look at that and say, well, what? why does? Why don't they have a picture on there? Yeah. It shouldn't be your driver's license photo. Yeah. Um, it should or a be picture something. when you were graduating or 10 years ago, recently. Exactly. Or, or a picture of you that isn't very professional. Yeah. You know, you don't laying on a beach is not exactly your LinkedIn photo. Yes. LinkedIn is not Facebook. Yes. So you have to know the difference. Um, if you're, if you have personal social media that you don't want a prospective employer, uh, finding lock it down, make yeah. sure that you are hiding yourself, yeah. um, because they will look and it, it's really important to connect all those pieces. Yeah. I tell the students, whenever you're posting, is this something that will make you a proud or is this something you want to be the employee of the month? Google yourself. And then, as you mentioned, lock it or don't put. We know that it's important to express yourself, but there are very, especially these days, very sensitive topics, very things that it might be uh, ruining your chances, as you mentioned uh, earlier. Absolutely. If you want to, you know, be be uh, trolling someone online, make up a fake account. If that's really what gets you off, make up a fake account. Mm -hmm. But um, if employers find it, it may cost you a job. Those are great, uh, Michael. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end and very practical and very easy conversation that we had. So for the audience, you can watch all the all the videos posted earlier. And again, tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. And Michael, let's keep in touch and see you soon in Toronto or you here. Sounds good. Thanks for including me. Bye, everyone. Bye.